Hi students, I am Dr. Padrinath and uh, today's video is the liposomes part 3. That is the last part. Uh, in this part 3, we will see evaluation of liposomes. It is exclusively for the evaluation, part 3. Part 1 and part 2 is already completed and you can check my previous videos. Okay, right. See, generally, this evaluation of liposomes is very dif uh, difficult to job, not easy. Just like a tablet's evaluation is easy, just like a hardness, so variability, disintegration, dissolution, that and all we can be carried. Very easy job. Okay, and uh, here liposomes, so it requires a uh, lot of instruments, lot of equipments. Okay, and uh, almost total your analysis subject knowledge you should have if you want to analyze the uh, liposomes. See, you need uh, x ray knowledge, knowledge of the x ray. Laser light generally we are using to play like a different images will come laser light. Here we are using uh, laser light for the analysis of the liposomes. Just imagine like that. This is about uh, your uh, syllabus. Here I, they have mentioned the liposomes and uh, their applications and all. And uh, most of the students they are doing a mistake that uh, evaluation they are writing a spelling as a evolution. Evolution means development. Keep in your mind evolution. Evaluation means analysis. A. Keep in your mind evaluation. A. Don't write O. Evaluation. A. A stands for analysis. We are going to be test here. So there is a mainly three types of characteristics you, you have to be evaluated in the in case of the liposomes. Physical characterization, chemical characterization and biological characterization. Biological characterization either liposomes are the toxic or it is doing any harmful to the patient like that, a biological evaluation. Chemistry, what is the phospholipids present, what is the cholesterol present, what is the how much content is present, and physical characterization. So like that, three classifications are there. These three evaluations are very, very important. You have to be right in the examination. This is about the physical characterization, uh, like a size. Uh, see here, liposome size. See, liposome size. Size distribution, how many particles, uh, how many particles are small size, how many particles are medium size, how many particles are bigger size, what is the average of like size distribution also, we can be used by using a laser light uh, scattering. I have told you, laser light we are playing. Temp, transmission electron microscopy, not your ordinary microscopy, not your uh, compound microscope, what you observe uh, in your... Uh, regular classes or regular practical classes in your college. Not that. This is STEM transmission, electron microscopy, very, very costly. Okay. And the gel permeation technique, gel exclusion chromatography, all we are using for the size and size distribution. And the shape, either the liposome is having a round shape or oval shape or irregular shape, we are using a temp. Okay. Same here, temp. And the freeze fracture, you have to freeze the liposomes and make it fracture. Freeze fracture, keep in your mind, electron microscopy, surface charge, liposomes having a positive charge or negative charge at their surface, that is also very important. You can be determined by using a free flow electrophoresis and a surface electrical potency. Since there was a charge, some potency must be there. Okay, zeta potentiometer we are using. Lamellarity, liposome is either unilamellarity or multilamellarity. How many lamella are present? Okay, by using a small X-ray. See here, we are using X-ray scattering. Uh, 31P NMR, freeze fracture electron microscopy. Here, see, zeta potentiometer. We are using a electrophoresis chromatography. Oh my God, it's a very tough job. Liposomes evaluation is very tough job. Face behavior, how the liposomes will behave like this. Freeze fracture electron microscopy, DSC, differential scanning, colorometry. That is also a very big uh, uh, chapter in your analysis, okay? So you need the complete knowledge of the analysis. We know that pharmacy is a multidisciplinary subject. You have to know each and every subject up to the depth. And uh, entrapment efficiency. See, drug is present inside the liposome. How much drug is entrapped? How much drug is remained outside? Like that. Entrapment efficiency, percentage of drug loading inside the liposome like a specific analytical method of each group, like a mini column centrifugation, ion exchange, chromatography. That is also one big book is there, uh, chromatography, radio labeling, 
rate of drug release how the drug is at what rate drug is releasing from the liposomes uh, can be determined by using a diffusion cell dialysis etc that is about physical characterization important i will tell you in detail okay chemical characterization like a phospholipid all these are the phospholipids this phospholipid in between the phospholipids there is a cholesterol also so phospholipid content how much assay uh, since it is a chemistry chemical characterization cholesterol content by using hplc cholesterol oxidation and say phospholipid content very very important bar light assay bar light just like a tube light bar light assay uh, sweet uh, stevart assay bar light sweets like that you can remember drug content suitable for specific respective drug uh, for paracetamol uh, uv visible spectroscopy like that so drug content it depends upon the specific drug and phospholipid peroxidation this phospholipids undergo the peroxidation oxidation that you can be determined by using uv absorbance tba thiobarbicidic acid iodometric assay glc gas liquid chromatography see here how many analytical techniques are here phospholipid hydrolysis hplc tlc thin layer chromatography cholesterol oxidation antioxidant degradation osmolarity by osmometer like that and biological parameter how many aerobic uh, organisms are present in your preparation how many anaerobic uh, uh, organisms are present that you can be determined by using a culture test like this okay and pyrogenicity either your liposomes is ha having a property of increasing the body temperature lamellus lal test lamellus amoeba amoeba lysate lal red color amoeba is a key here amoeba animal toxicity we, we have to do is a, like a survival rate of the animal how many uh, you have to give your liposomes to the animals and you have to check what is the survival rate histology like a tissue called uh, tissue pathology of animal tissue histology of animal tissue and either it is a biological hazards this is my mobile app you can be downloaded from my google play store okay after that you can be opening the app go to the store option here uh, all my presentations are available in the pdf format like am pharm c b pharm c pharma d all the courses okay all the subjects single handed playlist here uh, this is about my youtube channel go to the playlist option there i have arranged all my videos subject wise explanation videos each subject if you click on that you will get a, a chapter wise yeah see important test we are going to be cover here entrapment efficiency how much drug is entrapped see here 500 mg of paracetamol you have used to prepare a liposome keep in your mind all 500 mg will not enter into the liposomes this is empty liposome So all 500 mg will not enter. Only see here, only few amount of the 300 mg or 350 mg or 400 mg will enter. Remaining will be uh, like this. This is called a unentrapped drug. This is called a entrapped drug. So what you have to do? How much amount of entrapment efficiency means you have to go for centrifugation. If you go for centrifugation, free drug. See unentrapped drug will starts floating on that and uh, trapped drug. Which is entrapped drug liposomes here bottom. See the bottom. Now what you have to go for the filtration so that you will get a supernatural liquid unentrapped drug. You can be determined and uh, liposomes you have to dissolve with the organic solvent. So all liposomes will be dissolved. Free the amount of the drug which is present inside the liposomes will be come outside. Come outside rupture of liposomes release of the drug. The drug you can be determined by using a a respective uv visible or spectroscopy whatever it may be okay this entrapment efficiency you can be uh, using this formula weight of the initial drug what you have taken and the weight of the free drug divided by weight of the initial drug okay uh, percentage of drug loading also very important amount of entrapped drug uh, how much amount is entrapped inside a liposome divided by total weight of the liposomes total weight of the liposomes into 100 all these formulas are very very important this is the same procedure what i have explained same you can be right in the examination particle size and size distribution particle size you can be determined by the two techniques laser light scattering you can play with the laser light put on a laser light just to keep on your liposome solution you can be find the laser light transmission electron uh, microscope that i will explain you after measuring so directly you can take a picture from a microscope like that you can be measure photograph of the liposomes will come in the temp microscopy or scanning 
see here 20 nanometer like this you can be measured easily directly after that how many particles see here? particle count and uh, diameter how many what is the diameter like that range histogram you can be prepare a histogram particle size distribution okay that is, so these two i will explain you now laser light scattering this is a laser light scattering technique measures the particle size laser light you have to be make to fall on the particle group see here laser light this laser light you have to make it on the particle group so these are the liposomes what happened here see here this this is the thing what happening you have to write all these points you have to be write in the examination some of the laser light will be reflected some of the light will be refracted some of the light will be absorbed and radiated some of the uh, light will be diffracted see here diffracted see the differences my dear students so what happened here see some of the light is transmitted directly see no diffraction no refraction directly transmission like that so all these points the images diffracted or scattered image directly the image of this liposomes will be there on the detecting plane okay uh, so these points are very very important all are the key points diagram is very important temp transmission electron microscopy they don't write your uh, compound microscopy in the examination it measures the particle size this is a high voltage electron keep in your mind so that voltage passage of electrons is nothing but current electron gun will be there this gun forces uh, on the sample electrons will be forced uh, towards the sample see here sample this diagram you cannot write in the examination only this you can be right okay this is for your understanding purpose uh, so what happened second lens will be there secondary lens so primary lens so all this so directly electron beam it falls here here you can take a screen on the screen directly you will be get an image like this okay this is about a temp so there is a screen and camera is present at the bottom it captures camera will capture some surface charge see this is a liposome surface it is having a charge that charge is called as a surface charge okay surface charge is nothing but a charge which is present on the surface of a liposome surface charge may be negative or it may be neutral also but most in most cases it is a positive or negative the presence of charge is due to the composition of the head groups phospholipids so presence of the cholesterol this charge is very very important because it bounds the stability of the liposomes kinetic properties of liposomes movement kinetic and also extent of in vivo distribution inside the body how the liposome will be distributed it will be governed by the surface charge and the interaction with the target cells uh, it can be determined by the free flow electrophoresis so this is free flow electrophoresis very simple it consists of a two electrode negative electrode and positive electrode here inside in between gel will be there now sample wells here you can be keep the sample uh, liposome sample here see if you are liposomes having a negative charge then it will be attracted by the positive electrode so it starts moving through the gel it will be attracted it will be traveled to the positive depends upon that you can be determined uh, either it is a positive charge or negative charge this is about the um, procedure these points directly and uh, surface potency you can be determined by using a theta potentiometer three types of surface charges are there see here this is negatively charged particle see here all negative charges your liposomes is negatively charged for example say here so automatically it attracts the positive charge opposite it attracts now this positively charged electron again it attracts the negative charged particles ions negative charged ions see here negative charged ion this is called electric double layer positive layer negative layer see here like that it is called electric double layer uh, see that these lines are very very important so how much charge present here on the surface of the blue color is called a surface potential and here stern potential first layer is called potency is called as a stern layer zeta potential third layer last layer potency is called as a zeta potential so totally three are there surface potential stern potential zeta potential surface first row and second row like that you can remember these three things you can be uh, detected with the help of a zeta potentiometer or zeta sizer Face behavior, how the how it behaves. 
by using a DSC, differential scanning calorimeter. Here you can take the standard reference and reference, and here you can take the sample. You have to apply the current voltage, uh, electric voltage. So what happened? It starts melting. See here, glass transition temperature, crystallization, how it behaves, melting, cross-linking, oxidation, all this by using a DSC. Uh, chlorotropy and phospholipid content. How much amount of the phospholipids are present? Phospholipids are the building blocks of the liposomes determined by the Bartlett assay, Stewart assay. In, uh, in Bartlett assay, you have to add first perchloric acid to the liposomes. So phospholipids destructed into inorganic phosphate. Now you add ammonium molybdate. See here, ammonium molybdate. The inorganic phosphate, now it is converted into phosphomolybdic acid, which is present in the blue color. So higher the blue color, you can say higher the liposome, uh, phospholipids, okay? Lesser the phospholipids, lesser the intensity of the blue color. It is a directly proportional blue color. You can be used by using simple chromatography, no, sorry, colorimetry, colorimetry, not calorimetry. Calorie, color, color, calorimetry, calorie, heat. Calorimetry means heat, differential scanning, calorimetry. Here, this is calorimetry. 830 nanometer, you have to be determined intensity of the blue color, which is directly proportional. And we came to the last slide, uh, drug release. See here, uh, frange diffusion cell we are using. Here you have to keep all the liposomes. These liposomes will be passed through the semi-permeable membrane and it will be entered here. How much amount of the drug is entered here in, into your body like that you can read it. Uh, you, can, you have to take the sample. See here, all liposomes are there. All these liposomes com comes from here. This is liposome formulation. So what is the rate of diffusion, rate of transport, okay? Uh, rate of absorption, all the rate of release, all these things you can be determined by using this formula. Percentage of cumulative release is equal to weight of drug released divided by weight of the drug in the mat, mat, okay? Into 100. This is called a frange diffusion cell. We can also use uh, uh, dissolution also, dis uh, sorry, dissolution operators. We can be use it, no problem. And also it can be used that depends upon your formulation uh, type, liposomal formulation type. So I'll end my session here. Uh, so you can um, all my presentations, you can be find in the my mobile app. So I'll end my session.